Hi, I'm Jeff DeRiso from Beckman Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you how to automatically generate proposals from a deal in Zoho CRM. To do that, we're going to use something called a mail merge template through an inbuilt integration with Zoho Writer. All we have to do is format a nice looking template with our brand colors and style one time, and then we'll be able to automatically generate unique PDF documents for each deal at the click of a button. Let me show you how it works. So I'm in Zoho CRM and I'll go to setup and then customization templates. So we have different types of templates. We have email, inventory, and mail merge. We'll select mail merge. So when we say mail merge or merge, what we mean is that we're dynamically inserting field values from our CRM record into a document template. And field values are like the deal name or the deal amount or the deal description. Different data points that we've updated over time can be automatically inserted into one of these templates. So if you're already using the CRM to update details about a deal, you can use the data you've already entered to generate a professional looking proposal document without doing any copying, pasting, or editing, or typing. So you can see we have some existing templates here, but I'll select new template. We can also import a document. Uh, so if you already have a template that's formatted properly the way you like it, and you want to turn it into a mail merge template, you would select import and you just import your file. But for now, I'm just going to create a new template. We'll do it in the deals, template name. So here we are in Zoho Writer and you see we have our deal fields right here. So I can just click the deal name. I can do the deal amount, the account name, the contact name, put those in separate lines. So these are your fields and these can be formatted just like regular text. So we could make it a heading. We can adjust all the normal formatting just like we could in a regular document but with these dynamic field names, which will get merged with your CRM fields when you do the export. So I'll put a few more fields in here and then we'll take a look at what it looks like. So we're gonna click done. Okay. And now here we are back at the screen. We have this test that we just created. Now let's go to a deal. Okay, so here we are in a test deal that we've created in our CRM. And you see we have our deal name, our amount, our account name, our contact name. And we've had a project start date and a project end date. And so let's just merge that with the template that we just created. We'll click on these three dots here and select mail merge. And we'll, we'll select our template, which is the test that we just created dot Z doc merge. So now it brought us back to writer and, it, and we're once again, in the template, it gives us another chance to edit the template if we want to. But if we are already happy with the template, we just click preview merge. And here's how the fields are going to look. So this way you can preview the document before you download or email it to somebody. So imagine the possibilities here. You can create a nice document with the, with the formatting you want, the text colors, fonts, sizes, uh, line breaks, all the way you want to set it up. And you can dynamically insert the fields and then export it, print it, or email it to somebody in, in a few button clicks. So it's really easy. And I'll show you a template I created, just an example of what we can do. So we're back in the template editor. You can see we have the field that we got from our main form here, but we also have these fields that are highlighted in red. Now these are from a subform. We created a subform for this purpose of merging into a proposal. 
So if you go to subforms here, it says you have to insert what's called a repeat region. For whatever fields you select, it's going to repeat for however many rows you filled in your subform. So for example, in our deal, you see we have three rows in our subform. And each one has a section headline, a section outline, an estimated time, an estimated cost. So this is why we need the repeat region in our proposal. So we'll merge this with our existing template to see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see when we preview it, each row of the subform has been created a separate header and section, and these fields at the bottom time and cost. That's what we mean when we say the repeat region. This whole section, and this was one row, and then this is another row. So it repeats those fields in the order that you put them in for each section. So you can see our, our total amount and our project start and end date also get populated correctly into our template. So you can see this is a really powerful tool for uh, streamlining your document generation. And you could do this for agreements as well. And you could use the integration with Zoho Sign to send them for a signature. So now let's say we, we've clicked mail merge and we want to email this proposal to someone. We'll click email. And it's putting the wrong field in the address. So we're going to change that. We want it from the contact email. And the subject, we can select the deal name here and say proposal. And we want to email this as an attachment. The attachment name can also be the deal name proposal. Okay, we can customize the message if you want, or use one of our CRM email templates. And we can choose whether we want to remember these settings for future merges. We can check that. That way, once we set this, we, can, we don't have to do these steps again. I also need to change my from address to the authenticated address for our organization. And then I will send. Okay, so now you see I've received the email notification. Let's click on this here. Okay, we have the message is exactly the way we sent it with the deal name and proposal after it. And the file name is also the same. It's formatted as our nice PDF with the sections, the correct client name, the correct deal name, and all the costs and times that we entered in our CRM, the total cost and the total time. So that's how you create a merge template in Zoho CRM. And like I mentioned, you can use this for other types of documents. Whatever type of document that you're creating over and over again in your business, it's a good idea to make one of these templates and connect it directly to your database in the CRM to save yourself some of that tedious copying and pasting or typing and move on to the things that really matter in your sales process. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to see more videos like this, and we'll see you on the next one.